All right, welcome back to Breath Edge, Joan J. Appleseed here. And um, there was a huge mix up with the editing of the uh, previous video, and I wasn't able to release that. But I'm just going to go over it quickly here. We um, got all the materials together. Well, I, I got all the materials together and I built the car that you can see it on the screen right now. Um, and it's pretty cool. It looks like it uses those um, the the big engines that we had to repair. Um, even though we didn't have to build the engines, we just built the components. But uh, you can see that how they've reused certain model elements and that kind of thing. Um, so just taking a look around the vehicle right now, frame rates here were a bit laggy for some reason. I think it's just you know the introduction of the vehicle model to the game. Um, my system obviously couldn't uh, deal with that straight away. So once we had the uh, car built, I decided to take it on a on a quick little uh, shakedown cruise. And um, the vehicle drives like a car. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't fly. So we went out to where the uh, Infinity Warrior tag was. Went to go have a look at the Infinity Warrior poster, and uh, got that uh, marker locked off on the map. On the on the HUD. Infinity Warrior, all well, the, the different coloured uh, shotgun shells there. <laughs> I tried to uh, then go to the cold area that we couldn't get to before. A space shuttle got stuck in this blob of cooling gel. I think we found the perfect specimen to launch into the core. And we found a shuttle, not this one that's in front of me right now, um, but you'll see it in a moment as I turn here. So there's an old. Uh, Apparently an old robotic show. I was hoping to see a standard pleasure shuttle, but this is an old design cargo ship. You can still occasionally find such ships on distant planets. They work on biofuel, and there's no way they were on the liner. Robotics wasn't so popular at the time when such ships were produced. The engines look there's an tank. interesting looking uh, message on the this side of, that, of this cargo uh, ship. It says, I fucking hate robots. <laughs> But um, yeah, uh, this I think is a dig. External control system. Only old ships have these. I, I think this is a dig a at uh, uh, Elon Musk because he he said um, he doesn't like like AI. Um, you'll have a, you you'll see in a moment. A fuel tank with no fuel Space inside. Inc. Start one. Engines, you have to find some fuel. Fill the uh. tank and hack the control <laughs> system of the ship. It's a dig at uh, SpaceX, I think. But yeah, so this thing is um, like embedded in this huge ball of cooling gel, and uh, it needs fuel in order to uh, be activated again. So we had to run around and go get some uh, some beef pellets, make some some uh, beef pellets and stuff, because we needed ten beef pellets to fuel it. Otherwise, it wasn't going to do anything. So, um, lots of running around. I went to the crashed shuttle with the beef pellets, and I went to the other um, thing where the where the the cow creature things were. And then we activated the the shuttle after finishing re refueling it. The shuttle takes off <laughs> with a huge ball of cooling gel. And completely goes haywire. However, now a, a, a rather interesting part comes up. I think you're almost there. You can probably ignore the cooling gel's slight course deviation and assume it looks like we've got the task. The sensors detect a significant decrease in radiation. Unfortunately, so much debris got into the core that we now have even less time before it destabilizes. I recommend exploring new areas in search of means to survive and return to the inhabited sectors of space. Wait for it. By the way, did you notice that you passed the third chapter? I think I forgot to display the text about it. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, it's still impossible to track the location of your interlocutor. If some kind of script doesn't trigger here right now, we'll be stuck here for a long time. <laughs> But I think chapter four started quite a while ago, didn't it? Seems like you did something wrong, as always. I suggest you start a new game and try again. Come to think of it, forget it. Judging by the analysis of my sensors, the launch mayonnaise was completely absorbed by the core and destabilized it. The radiation level decreased to a critical minimum. It's time to visit Normandy before it's too late. So yeah, that, that was, like when I was playing that, that was confusing as hell. But here we're coming up on the location of the Normandy. Um, According to my calculations, the next decrease in the radiation level will occur in 17 hours when the shell of the core overheats. The decrease in the radiation level will be significant and it will last from 3 to 10 seconds, after which the explosion will follow, splitting us into atoms. With this in mind, it's highly <laughs> recommended that you hurry. I'm, I'm not going to say anything for the, for the next part because there's a lot of um, game uh, narration that's, that's going to happen. But suppose that this is the normal area and there's a lot going on here. If I'm not mistaken, there's an accelerating transport station ahead. Apparently, they plan to use it for the evacuation of Normandy, although it's hardly possible to do that. These stations help small spaceships gain initial acceleration when departing from the liner, but they are of no use for long distance flights. There's just one question that tickles my mind. Why are there so many damaged coffins? Aside from that, these coffins have limbs, weapons, and undoubtedly, active AI units, judging by the weak signals coming from their remains. To be honest, I'd rather not know what all of this means. As far as I know, the Breath Edge Funeral Agency is in the business of burying corpses, not creating them with killer robots. But these coffins are definitely not counterfeit. It seems that the Normandy team died heroically fighting with coffins, which goes beyond any and all logic. On the other hand, the fact that you are still alive goes beyond <laughs> any and all logic as well. In this regard, there's a chance that the coffins might be aggressive. It's recommended that you look around carefully and try to find some survivors. I love the satirical humor in this game. There's a processor and a bed. The steering wheel is broken, but the rest is in order. This is the Normandy autopilot course. We can't change it without a living captain in any way, not even with a handy scrapper. However, it's highly unlikely that the captain calculated such a complex route for no particular reason, so we'd better not touch it at all. I need some time for analysis. Okay, so there's a couple of things that need to be fixed. Okay. Now to the uh, second part of the video. Here we are inside of the Normandy. The rescue shuttle that's supposed to be rescuing us. But is broken. <laughs> So <laughs> it's a uh, hey, single blueprint, right? Um, this is the cockpit. Mm, nice music. So, um, mm, one second, just checking some here quickly. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. No matching parts. Okay, so there's a lot need, needs to be fixed. Apparently the music is only over here. Um, there's a lot needs to be fixed. Uh, the Normandy appears to have been in a battle. It's 
switch that off for now. So you can see it looks very similar to the shuttle that we started off in. Um, missing the screen, however. And there's some weird looking goop there. Control system bed, which is good because we do need to um, regain health. So, um, so yeah, so we we've we've arrived here now. Obviously, as previously stated. Um, there is the processing station, there's even a kitchen unit, which I still need to test out. And um, obviously here's a spacesuit stand, the water closet. To Captain of Normandy from his worst enemies, die please. No. <laughs> Someone's underwear. No first aid kit in this one. Storage container. I do need some. Salt required. I do need to have some water. There we go, all topped up. I even managed to pick up some glass along the way as well. And some more electronics, plenty of fuel. And there we go, okay. So that's the inside. Just checking if there's any more storage space in here. Doesn't look like it. Encrypted tape required. Okay, so that's where we use the encrypted tapes. Got a couple of those. I suppose we can switch the music back on now. So, um, yeah, something happened out here. Something about uh, co uh, um, coffins with arms and AIs appear to have been trying to jump start um, the engine with the remains of the space car. Grogan the Barbarian. <laughs> I'll take that. That's funny. All right, so now um, one thing I don't have with me is a repair tool. So I'm going to have to see if I can make a repair tool from what I have around here. Uh, if not, then I'll have to fly back to the space base and go and uh, Go and get the tools or a repair tool there. <laughs> Man, that dude looks like he hit that thing at a hell of a speed. There's so much going on here. Lots of debris. What do we need for... 
What do we need for the repair tool? Let's go have a look. What suit do I have? I have the engineering suit. I'm going to need to bring the electrical spacesuit. So you can see all the things that need to be repaired all around there. Steering wheel. So we need to inductor, titanium, resin, got the electronics. Tools, however. Aluminium, refined metal, times two, and thick electrical tape. So I can do one refined metal already. It saves a bit of space. There's plenty of metal outside. The only thing I don't see straight away is aluminium. That's titanium. We'll get back to that. There's a piece of a module or something down there. We can go and inspect. There's something else down there as well. There's bits and pieces all over the place. That looks like a flying chunk of debris there. Some uh, anomalous material that came flying out of the coffin like molten metal. Why a coffin would be filled with molten metal, I don't know. Either way, there seems to be one hell of a conflict that happened here. In the meantime, let's look for some aluminium. That's what? Uh, have I got my grabber on me? Yes. Let's put the grabber into four. That's some alkali. If I'm going to have to make inductors and that kind of stuff, I'm going to need the alkali. Any aluminium around here? Pieces of rock. Oh, there we go. I see some aluminium. What's that? <laughs> yeah, more likely just destroyed. Do some more exploration here. This lock, rock looks different. I still don't know what to do with that soil with the soil analyzer thing. standard buckwheat. Hold buckwheat instantly overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. Let's get back in here so that we can get some oxygen. Right, what do we need for that repair tool still? So the electrical tape and the refined metal. Okay, I'm going to start putting some stuff in here already, like the glass for instance, and some of the fuel. Don't need the electronics and the alkali just yet. Right. Let's have a look see over here. <laughs> That's a lot of makeup. <laughs> All right. some nutritious goo some more electronics let's grab some resin here because we're going to need it Of the, the remains are one of the most expensive cosmic rifles with negative efficiency. <laughs> what? It won't come of use even if it was new and working, but why not take it since it's unattended? So it's a really... effective weapon then. There's more alkali. Savage! That was savage! Oh wow! Okay, I am looking for rubber to make tape because I need the electrical tape. What's that up there? That's the remains of a shuttle. That's a rather charged spaceship. Spacesuit, sorry. All right, I'm going to go back to get some oxygen again. It's 
So that's what the front of the shuttle used to look like. The original shuttle we were in. Okay, so that's where you that's where you change the recipe. And the nutrition package. Hmm. Still need the electrical tape. So in theory we can use this. Install. Okay, so this is just a decorative item then. What did I have there? I had the grabber there, right? And we'll put that in too, since the soil analyzer appears to be completely useless. Alright, let's go have a look here quickly. <laughs> this is something I have to repair again. Control units. There's another, there's going to be another control unit there. Yep. You know what I'm noticing though? The distinct lack of containers to bash. To get stuff out of. Last thing I really want to have. It's hard to give this thing a name. Such research has never been mentioned anywhere. It mostly looks like a small computer with some kind of goo inside. Oh yay! <laughs> Dismembered. I have a scissors here. Let's take that. <laughs> Captain Shepherd. Yes, Captain Shepherd. There's a reference. Wonder how many of you get that one. Captain Shepard indeed. Okay, so I'm getting wire, I'm not getting I'm not getting plastic. What is that down there? Or is it just an artifact?
No, no, it looks like it's just an artifact. See really no plastic around here. Yes, yes, I know. Man, this must have been one hell of a battle. Hmm. Well, no, nope, there doesn't appear to be any uh, thick electrical tape or rubber around you anyway. If I just look some more down here. Lots of structural form work. <laughs> Crocodile Dumby is looking for friends. <laughs> any of this. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have to fly back. But that's that's the area around the Normandy. There must have been one hell of a battle going on here. All the Normandy crews wiped out. And um, it looks like uh, we're the only survivors or the we don't appear to have found 
whoever babe is so vehicle engine normandy control units the small drawer cabinet uh, plan of the transportation module stands plans of the service modules i don't think i'm going to need any of that right now um, yeah. So yeah, we don't seem to have any locations on where Babe may be. Unlock quite a few of the achievements though. <laughs> so yeah most interesting let's see what we got here so yeah there's the vehicle okay so um, I'm going to leave it there we have a lot of work to do in repairing the Normandy um, which means we're going to have to do a lot of resource gathering and driving around offline um, getting parts and equipment and materials and then yeah we'll take it from there thank you very much for watching remember to hit that like button leave a comment uh, down below let me know what you think about the series what you think about the game and uh, if you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Thank you very much.